Here's why you should hire more employees for your business. When most business owners think about employees, probably the first thing that comes to their mind is, oh man, like that's an expense. I'm gonna have to pay this employee's salary. Oh man, I don't know if I'm ready for that. That's probably the first thing that pops into mind, unless they're a successful, experienced business owner, because you know what those people have realized? What makes you grow in business is realizing the actual reality of certain things. And so the reality of having employees is that there's a huge benefit to it. And so I'm gonna give you guys four reasons on why I think hiring employees is almost always a good idea. Now, sometimes, yes, you do need to downsize. Sometimes you need to change things up a little bit, but if you want to grow and you want to grow aggressively, I believe that there are very, very many good reasons to hire an employee. And we're going to talk about four of them today. So number one is that employees, they're not an expense. They are a revenue generating machine. Obviously that person has a specific role, but at the end of the day, your employees are producing revenue for the company some of them more directly than others, right? A salesperson would be producing revenue more directly than the person that's maybe delivering the service, but the person delivering the service is also creating a positive client review. They're creating a positive client experience. That positive client experience causes a referral to go back to the salesperson. That salesperson sells more business and now the person fulfilling has more work to do. So it makes sense. They're all contributing to this ecosystem. You have to have all these parts of the business working cohesively in order to generate revenue for the business. Remember, every single employee is generating revenue. So when you look at it like that, it makes a lot of sense to hire people because you realize that the more people that you hire, it's likely that if they're working correctly within the organization and they're fulfilling the maximum potential of their role, that they're bringing in more business for you. So they're growing your company, they're bringing more revenue in, and that allows you to continue growing and growing and growing. Now, would I say hire as many people as you possibly can right off the bat? No, I would definitely say that it's a systematic approach that works best. You need to hire as the need arises. So your team just systematically grows and grows and grows and grows. And of course, that also increases the ability of the organization to provide quality products and create a very streamlined experience for clients. The second reason that I believe it's smart to hire employees is because you as the business owner need to focus on very specific things. There are certain things that only you can do. You probably can't do everything all at once. You need to have the ability to focus on the things that you are really good at. If you don't have time to focus on the things that you're good at, you're gonna start doing them maybe not so well. And so if you're not doing them to the best of your ability, that brings down the value of the product or the service because you don't have time to focus on it. And you're not able to focus fully on the things that your responsibility entails. Hey, you're not producing the maximum amount of revenue because now people are upset because you're not giving your 100% because you are not focused. Here we wanna bring in employees and we wanna train them and we wanna show them how to do certain things that perhaps you are doing now, but you shouldn't be doing. You need to delegate as much as you possibly can so that other people in your organization are doing them and you're not having to focus on those things during the time that you need to be focused on your responsibility. And the truth is that a lot of times the people that we hire are actually better than us at these tasks. For example, if I want to hire a sales professional, I'm not a sales professional, I'm a CEO of my company. I'm not really a sales manager or like a VP of sales or something like that. So I would wanna hire somebody that can run that department for me. Let's say I need to design a website. I probably could design a website to some extent, but at the end of the day, I'm just not as good as the person that I've hired to do that for me. Now, let's say I also have other departments that I need to staff. And so as I'm bringing people in, I'm finding the best person that I possibly can for that specific department. And they are running that department so that I'm not having to be involved into those little details because I am focused on the things that I need to focus on. And so it creates this ecosystem of a whole team working together and everybody has their own role, but together it creates a beautiful organization that works cohesively and creates a great experience for clients. And so when you're hiring, you shouldn't think about, oh, this is the most affordable affordable person to hire. You need to find the best person at whatever task it is you need to be done. If you need to get some marketing done, I would probably look for professional marketers, somebody that's done marketing in an organization that's like yours and help them grow. I'm not the best marketer, but they can teach me how to do those things and they can also execute on them. I need marketing handled, so I'm gonna find the best person at marketing that I could possibly find and then I'm gonna hire them and I'm gonna make sure that they are handling that part of the business and I'm not trying to micromanage them because again, I'm not the professional marketer here. 
And finally, number four, the reason that I think it's important to hire employees and more employees is that they provide new perspectives. So sometimes I've been part of teams that had the same team members for a really long time. And over time, they really get to know each other well. And so you have uh, predictable thoughts and thought patterns and responses and the conversations are just very predictable. To me, I think that creates a bit of a limitation. I think it's always important to bring in new people into the conversation, not somebody random, but new leaders, people whose opinion you trust. And then most importantly, it's important to listen to those people. Just because they're new to the team doesn't mean you shouldn't listen to their opinion. I think that the core team is great, but it's also important to have somebody who can come in and provide a fresh perspective because that fresh perspective might just be the thing that's needed to take things to the next level. When new people join the team, they provide their own worldview, their traditions, their values. All these things play a factor in even just in how they think. And so if they analyze even the same problems that you are analyzing, they probably have a different perspective than you or the other team members who have been there for a while. So those are four reasons that I think it's important to hire employees and allow them to contribute to the team in a meaningful way. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.